14 weeks, less than 100 days, to one of the most exciting and thrilling adventures. Welcome to the Hawaii Prep Series. Me thinking they're friends, ten toes down. I'll be free into the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my hands. Took so many years, I'm just waiting for the wins. I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins. I do it for real, it's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. Add it up, add it up, bank roll, bank roll, euro, euro, peso, peso, add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up, bank roll, bank roll, euro, euro. Me. Everything is on me, gon' back it up Matter what? Told you I'ma do me, why you hating on me? It's not adding up I do roll like a Mack truck Country heart, I'm a cop of farm and go act <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of stars Yeah <laughs> Once a month, I don't rap much I just take the money and go stack up Only buying car heart, car car, take it tatted up All that other bull, it don't matter much You only climb me, I put the ladders up No fault I done doubled up on the workload I think I fell in love with the bankroll Pray up, get money, then we lay low Then we lay low Add it up, add it up. bankroll, bankroll. Euro. Euro, peso, peso. Add, it up. add it up I'm just doing me, everything is on me Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. bankroll, bankroll. Euro. Euro, peso, peso. Add it up I'm just doing me, everything is on me Oh, you matter what? Add it up if it's all me, everything is on me, gon' back it up Matter what? Told you I'ma do me, why you hating on me? It's not adding up Add it up Told you if it's all me, everything is on me, gon' back it up Matter what? Told you I'ma do me, why you hating on me? It's not adding up I'm gonna try to do progressive overload with yep. me I'm gonna try to go up and wait every set, but still try to maintain 10 to 12 reps. And why to I lay with it? And why to I lay with it? I like getting money, I got time to get it. Target on me, so my car's attending. Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it. Bobbing in the dash, and the stick is with it. And I hit the 4 or 5 on the wet side. But I'm from the east side, this how we slide. This how we ride, yeah, yeah, this how we ride. Going pro, no lead, no lead. Make it easy like one, two, three. Go, go, on three, two, one. I fly till you can't see me. Swish, yeah. Falling from the first whistle, we go all in. All in. And one. Numbers up and never falling. Feel like I hit the lottery and proud of me. Yeah. No big proud of me, so I throw pride away. She know I stuck to the plan and I stayed out the way. Now we're spending no money, never touching the bank. Just from me the game and I'ma get it done. Don't do it for fame, do it for the way. Aces with the star, my damage, my lungs. If you want to drive, she get what I like getting money, I got time to get it Target on me, so my car's attending Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it Bobbing in the dash, and the stick is with it And I hit the 4 or 5 on the wet side But I'm from the east side, this how we slide This how we ride, yeah, yeah, this how we ride Don't pro, no lead Make it easy like one, two, three Go, go, on three, two, one I fly 
party, can't see me Swish, yeah Falling From the first whistle, we go all in All in And when Numbers up and never falling. My baby called me and said she needed space. Be for real, 25 they all the type of kids. Stop playing with me, you know that you here to stay. Stop playing with me, I'll be back home in eight. No, I'm on the go, but I'm not over you. Made you fall from home, but I'm so close to you. Gotta get that back like I'm supposed to. Had to rush that re-up, cause I'm overdue. I like getting money, I got time to get it. Target on me, so my car's a tenant. Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it. Bobbing in a dash, and the stick is with it. And I hit the four. You have to have a big chest for Hawaii. At least a chest. <laughs> Over the next several weeks, I'm going to be taking you guys along on this journey with me. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover my diet, give you guys some tips on how to maintain a good, healthy diet and physique. Two, I'm going to be going over my fitness training and like my current workout splits and why I'm doing them the way that I'm doing them. And lastly, just taking you guys along the experience, having some fun and letting you guys get to know me a little bit better. Let's start with arguably the most important part of maintaining a good physique and a healthy lifestyle, the diet. Everybody's diet is gonna range differently depending on you know how large you are, how tall you are, what your goals are. For me, I'm gonna start off by telling you guys that my goal for this prep series is to main gain. Yes, that is a word. I'm not sure if it's made up. I heard somebody else use it. And I think it's a really good description because it doesn't necessarily mean that you're in a bulk or that you're in a cut, right? Bulking is fun because you can eat whatever you want and well, not necessarily whatever you want, but you can eat more of the foods that you want and still be within your calorie, you know, goals. Now a cut, not a lot of people like to cut. I don't recommend it unless you are doing some sort of prep or if you're doing a bodybuilding show then therefore it's necessary. But main gain is kind of a sweet spot right in the middle. So let me break it down for you. When you main gain, the goal of main gaining is to put on muscle while losing fat and maintaining the same amount of weight. You find your BMR, which is your basic metabolic rate, and you figure out how much energy are you burning throughout the day. So for me, my BMR is right around 18 and 1900. So if I were to do no activity, that's what I'm going to be burning throughout the day just by myself. Increasing it a little bit because of the fact that I do exercise and I do work out and I am doing cardio. I'm currently eating a right around 2400 calories. Well, that's just what works with me. I feel good. I feel full. I feel satiated. And that's my tip number one to you is to make sure that you're always doing what's best fit for you because everybody's going to be different. You might like certain foods more than other groups and I might like some foods more than other groups. So that's what I recommend to you. Now, as far as macros go, I'm not one to typically track macros, but for this particular prep, I'm gonna be doing so. I'm gonna shoot right around 180 grams of protein every single day, just because I'm right around 180 pounds. So I wanna get at least one gram of protein in for body weight or per pound of my body weight. There you go. Fats, they're gonna sit right around 70 to 80 grams. Um, some days it's gonna be a little bit higher, some days it's gonna be a little bit lower. In carbs, just wherever they fall, I'm gonna try to aim around 200 to 250, um, just so, to make sure that I'm you know fueled up and I'm energized and I'm recovering well. So to quickly summarize diet, I'm gonna be eating right around 2,400 calories. What I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna start slowly dropping them closer to when I, I'm gonna leave to Hawaii, just because that way it gets a little bit nicer of a cut. But what I don't wanna do is I don't wanna drop them too early because then you know I'm losing progress, I'm going to be not eating enough and I'm just gonna end up losing too much weight and size overall. And plus my gym performance isn't gonna be as good as I'd want it to be. So cutting closer to the end of the prep and two, just increasing a little bit of cardio. So my daily cardio right now, I walk about 30 minutes a day, might increase it to 45, maybe an hour just so I can keep eating the same amount of food that I'm eating while I'm burning a little bit extra. Therefore, it puts me in a slight deficit. Now, let's get into the fun stuff. My training program, my training split, what I'm doing every single day. So right now, I currently train six days a week. I have one entire rest day, active rest day, let me correct myself. Um, but as far as now, I'm doing a chest and bicep split 
with a back and triceps and a legs and shoulder split. Why do I do it that way? Well, the first reason is when I train, see, this is all personal, right? Because your style of training, you might feel something better. You might like and feel more comfortable with something else. But this is what works for me is I can focus on my chest without having to throw triceps in there because by the end of my chest workout, my triceps are just burnt out. I hit chest and then I'll hit biceps with it because that's an alternating kind of group where I'm not working so much biceps during my chest workouts. So therefore I'm rested and I'm able to hit that muscle group not only on chest day, but also on back day. Next up, we have back and triceps. The reason why I do it, same reason as chest and biceps. While I'm doing all these pulling exercises, anytime I'm pulling, I'm throwing my biceps in there. And I think for the most part, I typically try to incorporate biceps into all of my back workouts. So that way I'm doing more of compound lifts and not just straight isolation. Um, so therefore I throw triceps in with back because my triceps are rested, they're kind of fresh. I hit them on chest day as well as back day. Now, legs and shoulders, this is a big split, but that's just what works for me. I feel a better contraction when it comes to my shoulders and a better focus on my legs when I'm kind of giving them rest, right? So I may do, you know, leg press or hack squat on one of the leg exercises and then automatically go to shoulders to allow my legs to kind of rest for a bit. And overall, this is what works for me. I enjoy it. My rest days are typically right now on Mondays. That sounds really weird. I know people like the weekends, but that's just what fits for my schedule. On Mondays, I'll typically still go to the gym or at least hit some abs or go for a walk around the neighborhood. Last but not least, let's talk about my goals. So you may be asking, Caleb, why are you doing this? What's fun about going to Hawaii? What's fun about staying in shape? What's fun about eating clean? nothing no i'm just kidding um well hawaii and fitness are an incredible exciting thing to look forward to overall my goal for this is not to look like this guy or like that guy because genetics do play a role i'm not gonna say they're everything but genetics do play a role as far as like what your body will look like at max capacity honestly i'm just trying to be lean and look good on the beach if i'm being honest this way it keeps me accountable Right now, my body currently sits comfortably at about 15 to 18% body fat, which is not a bad range for you know the average human or average male, but I wanna push myself a little bit further this summer. Um, and I'm trying to get down to anywhere between nine to 12% body fat. And the reason why I wouldn't wanna go any lower is one, my energy levels are just gonna be super low. I'm gonna be really constricted to a lot of foods. Um, and overall, I'm, I'm studying at the same time. I'm going on this trip right after I finish finals. So I don't want to be, you know, stressing over finals because I can't eat. And then also because I'm trying to study. C's get degrees. Don't ever forget that. In all reality, I'm fine with being just a lean version of myself. Um, I'm not trying to be anybody that I'm not because, you know, I have nice shoes and a great personality. Don't ever doubt that. Um, but I just want to show you guys what I'm capable of, take you guys on this journey with me and ultimately just have fun throughout the process. I want to take you guys along with me. We're going to be vlogging Hawaii. So I know you guys are going to enjoy that. And yeah, I hope you guys are just excited about this as I am. Before we go, I just want to give a huge shout out to God, the father apparel. Recently, I just partnered with them. So go use code CSALS at checkout for 15% off. Go support me and go support the company. They have a great mission statement. Um, and plus, their clothes are sick, man. Go check it out. They got some sick clothes that you can rock over your Zoom calls. <laughs> um, thank you guys again. I appreciate all you guys for your support. Stay tuned because there's going to be more episodes coming in as far as the Hawaii prep series comes. And it's something you're not going to want to miss. So take care of yourself. Take care of your family. Stay blessed. And I'll catch you in the next one.